Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Nickel. In case y'all hadn't noticed, we live in a pretty cool town. If you're here, I think you've realized that. Uh, it may be smaller than some, it might be in the middle of a flyover state, but we have a thriving arts community, and I wanna talk a little bit about the filmmaking aspect of that because that's what I have personal experience with. Um, and in particular about the program that he's talking about that we're getting off the ground these past couple of years. So it started with the CU Film Society a couple of years back, then a bunch of Local filmmakers got together to foster the spirit of Ebert Fest year-round, uh, bringing in workshops and screenings, and we really wanted to make filmmaking something that kids could get into the way they get into theater and dancing and radio. Uh, so we came up with this plan for a screenwriting competition where uh, filmmakers from Champaign Movie Makers would make films out of scripts written by kids, and designers from Kudo would make posters out of even more, and we would have this big presentation where the kids get this red carpet treatment, and it would just be fabulous. So, over February uh, last year, then we ran the first round of the Pencil Lens Contest, and so kids wrote five-page scripts, and over March, then filmmakers reviewed the scripts and found the ones that appealed to them, and then started work. And so we had a number, of, uh, a number of projects go into production, and this particular one ended up being my favorite from last year. It's called Susan and Daisy's Adventure, Episode One, and it was based on a script written by a group of seven kindergartners, and it was about these two girls who had to catch an eel to sell it to a cat to get money to buy a house. <laughs> and that description sells it short on how amazingly goofy and cute it was. There were so many crazy costumes and props. There was a giant robot, a cheeseburger the size of a car tire. Uh, you may or may not recognize uh, Mike Trapetti, a local actor behind this fabulous beard as he played the old man in uh, Susan and Daisy's Adventure. This, this was my personal contribution. It was the stop motion eel that they caught. Uh, we got an eel from a grocery store and I filled it with an aluminum wire so that I could pose it and then animated it so that it could swim through the water and it was not nearly as smelly as you would expect, <laughs> surprisingly. So then we got to the gala and we had the big red carpet event. This is the star of uh, my movie, Fluffy Stein, uh, with the other lead actor, Mr. Fluffy Ears. Uh, if, if you go to this year's, then you're gonna see her in a lot of movies. She was absolute star. My monitor's coming in and out. Uh, so these, these two are two more actors who you'll also see in movies this year. Uh, last year, then, they were in a short called Tunnel to Greenland, where it was written by a high school senior, and it was about these two kids who snuck off to the woods to dig a tunnel to Greenland. And they have this wonderful conversation that ends up culminating in this you know, beautiful, childlike, simple grasp of what love is. And it was just an amazing script. These are two of the writers from last year, uh, Iona and Quinn. And both of them wrote in this year and said that they weren't writing scripts this year. They just wanted to help other kids to get the same wonderful experience that they got last year. And so they got their movies and they want to help other people get theirs. And this is one of the writers of Susan and Daisy's Adventure. I, I couldn't find a picture of all seven of them together, but their little heads bobbing down the aisle to go up after their movie played was just the cutest thing that I have ever seen. <laughs> So all together, we packed out two screenings in the art theater. Uh, there's Mr. Fluffy Ears on the screen. Uh, we had to turn people away, and that's not a problem we're gonna have this year at the Virginia. Uh, but it was just so incredibly amazing to see these kids looking up at the screen in this gorgeous theater and seeing their stories showing up there. All in all, we made nine movies. Over the course of about six weeks, Nine movies were produced by local filmmakers. And we upped the ante this year. There are, there are even more movies. Uh, Tim said, Tim said uh, 22 earlier. That is not all of the movies on the screen right now. It was just the ones that I could fit on there. Uh, so we've split it into two separate shows. There's the early block that starts at two that has the scripts by uh, K through seventh graders, and then there's the late block starting at six with the scripts from eighth through 12th graders. And they both have 
a completely different feeling to them, um, but they're both wonderful. Uh, we were also able to get a lot more kids involved in the actual productions. This is uh, David, who was on set for the movie that he wrote, along with some other first graders, called Goo Party, about uh, an alien named Mr. Eyeball, who is building a world of goo. <laughs> And uh, this is Nathan, who wrote a short called The Runner, which is kind of a Hunger Games-esque thriller uh, with a, a girl who is running through the woods and can't remember anything except she has to get away from these agents. And he actually gets to play one of the evil agents in his own movie. These are the three writers of Mr. Snuggles, which is about a little boy who has to get rid of his teddy bear after he starts getting picked on um, for still hanging out with his lifelong friend. Uh, and these, these, these writers were able to also cameo in their own movie as, as the bullies who sort of set off the whole, the whole series of events for, for the film. Uh, not all of them are quite that fun. Some of them are very serious. This one is uh, by an eighth grade student about uh, a little girl who's dealing with her mother having breast cancer. And I have seen this movie four times, and I have not yet finished it without tears streaming down my face. <laughs> so pens to lens. Uh, it is weird and wonderful, and uh, you get the imaginations of these kids created by filmmakers from your community. It's just incredible that we have so many people who will say, yeah, I will take months of my life to take this kid's script and turn it into this thing to put up on the screen. And we totally have that in Champaign. It's crazy. I, I, I don't know anywhere else where this would work. We'd love to see it happening other places. We'd love to see, you know, Pennsylvania in Chicago, Pennsylvania in Springfield, but you know, Pennsylvania in Champaign, we're pretty happy with it. So we might be in a tiny town, in a flyover state, but we've got it where it counts. <laughs> And Pens to Lens is just one of the many examples of why that is true. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. Uh, quick recap, it's at the Virginia Theater. Uh, little kids screening at 2, big kids screening at 6. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you.